Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some really exciting products that I got from the new Fenty Beauty line by Rihanna. So I picked up a few items because I've been really wanting to try them out. I actually saw like this video on Instagram and it showed her makeup on several of the models and it looked really like fresh and glowy and natural. It just looked really vibrant. It was just beautiful. So I decided to go ahead and pick up a few items for myself. So let's just go ahead and get started and let me show you what I purchased. So the first thing was this Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer and it's in the color Soft Matte. And they only have one primer. And this primer retails for $32. And this is the packaging. It's a very light blush type of pink. And then it looks like it has spray paint on the sides of the box. It's pretty packaging, but with that kind of rough edge look. I wanted to let you know that I will be trying on all of these products just so that I can give you my first impression of the product. Um, and of course, first impressions, a lot of people can't go by first impressions because um, you're only wearing it for just the time of the video. And then if you do wear it longer than that, it's really not a first impression. You're actually testing the product out, right? Now you'll see later that I purchased the foundation. I will be doing a foundation review, but I just wanted to let you know that I will be testing it out to see how long it wears and if it's worth the purchase. So this is what the packaging looks like for the primer and it's in this glass frosted bottle and it comes with this plastic top and it also comes with a pump and the top is like more of a blush pink it's very lightly colored blush I call it a blush color it's just beautiful packaging for the primer and in the primer there's 1.08 fluid ounces of primer in this product the next thing I purchased was the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation and I got mine in the color 350. And again, it's got the blush packaging with a spray paint type look on the front. And here's the color. And just like the primer, the foundation actually comes in a glass frosted bottle and it also has a, this one has a white top on it, white plastic top with a pump and there's 1.8 fluid ounces in this foundation. The foundation comes in 39 more colors for a total of 40 colors of this foundation. I think it's fabulous that she has such a wide range of colors in her line. I mean, when you go and look at her display, it is beautiful. There's just an array of different colors for every skin tone, and I love that she came up with so many colors and she could provide you know, foundation for um, any skin tone that's out there. The foundation actually retails for $34, which is not a bad price. For an expensive drugstore foundation, you're looking anywhere from $10 to $15. And then you've got your high-end foundations that go up to like $60, $80. This is kind of in the middle. So $34 to me is not a bad price for this foundation. The next thing I purchased was this Fenty Glow Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer. And this is the packaging. Now this packaging is more, um, it's got more of the blush color and it's got a little bit of black up here at the top. So here's the packaging for the lip gloss. It's got this silver top up here and it's got like this plastic um, packaging here, but it's just very elegant. And it's got the Fenty Beauty name right in front here. And this retails for $18. It's more of a rose gold gloss. So, and it's only one gloss that she sells. She doesn't have any other glosses besides this one. It looked really beautiful on the models and I can't wait to try this in a minute. So the next two items that I purchased were these highlighters. And this is the outside packaging. They're pretty much the same and it has Fenty kind of wrapped around as you can see and it looks like it's spray painted on and it's also got, you know, a little bit of the blush color here. It's white on this side, but it's very edgy. So I got a Solo and the name of that highlighter is Trophy Wife and I got a Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Mean Money and Hustla Baby. Let me show you the colors. And those are the colors. 
The highlighters retail for $34. There's actually six total highlighters. There's two solos and there's four duo highlighters. So um, this one is more of a really gold color and then there's a really white um, shimmery pearl color. And then there's four other different types of highlighters that are the duo highlighters. The last thing that I purchased was this Matchstick Trio. So this is the packaging. Again, the blush and then the edgy paint here. I just think the packaging is so artsy. Um, it's just it's just very artsy, very edgy, but yet girly at the same time. Okay, so the Matchstick Trio that I got was the color tan, and it comes with caramel, truffle, and rum. So they come with a conceal, a contour, and a highlight. So the conceal would be the caramel, um, the contour is the truffle, and the highlight is rum. Now her and her team actually put together four sets of these. And the four sets are light, medium, tan, and deep. So they pre-package these for $54 a piece. These matchsticks can actually be sold separately. So you don't have to necessarily go with the pre-packaged deal, um, but it is cheaper if you go with the, with the trio. Um, other than that, you're gonna pay separately for each uh, matchstick. Now, I can't remember how much each one costs. I'll list it down below. But um, yeah, she has like some shimmer sticks. She has um, more in what they're called skin sticks, you know, for the contour and the hot and the uh, highlight. So let me open this box and get out the product. And what's cool about this product, it comes in these little blush um, sticks here. They're actually magnetic which is very cool. And they have Fenty Beauty logo on the top of the um, stick. And each stick looks like this. So this is what the stick inside of the stick looks like. And they're all 0.25 ounces per stick of product. And they're all cream sticks. So that was caramel that I showed you. And let me show you truffle. That's your contour. And this one is rum, and that's your highlight, your shimmer stick. And I swatched these in the store, guys, and they swatch so creamy and they're soft and they blended very easily on the skin. Now, I haven't put them on my face just yet. We'll see how it works out when I apply them on my skin. Okay guys, so those are all the products that I purchased. I wanna go ahead and get started with the application of these products and give you my first impressions. So let's go ahead and just get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna put on is the Fenty Beauty Primer. And this is it here. It's pretty thick. Let me go ahead and put that on my face. My face has already been moisturized, guys. I'm just gonna add this. Now they say that this primer is going to stop shine and that it's actually going to be pore diffusing. So we'll see if that is true. So the primer feels like really soft. It almost has kind of like a powder finish. My skin feels really soft. Okay, so let's go in with the foundation. And like I said, I'm in the color 350. I did get color matched in the store. One thing that the representative told me was that this foundation somewhat oxidizes. So he went ahead and did some color swatches on my skin. And then I kind of walked around the store. He showed me which one worked for me better because he said that it does oxidize. Make sure that when you go into the store, have someone color match you because the color that I thought that I was gonna be was nowhere near the color that I was. So I ended up with this color here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one side with the beauty blender and then the other side with the brush. So I'm gonna go in with one, one pump. And it is a bit runny. It's dripping down my hand. I'm gonna go in with my Revlon sponge on one side and then the other side I'll use a brush.
right off the bat it has nice coverage and it looks really soft on the skin I don't know if y'all can tell but it looks really soft and the color to me looks a bit dark right now so that means it's probably gonna get a little bit darker but that's okay because I tend to um, self tan and I'm a little bit self tan now so either way it's gonna be okay I'll work with this color it's not too bad so that was one pump and it really has some nice coverage it's like a medium coverage let me go ahead and go in with another layer and I just pumped one pump on there on the back of my hand oh I like the second layer it has great coverage guys Ooh, it's so pretty so this is one side without it and this is one side with it Ooh, it's starting to oxidize a lot <laughs> it's starting to get way darker that's okay we're gonna go ahead and work with it I'm gonna go ahead and use this Sigma angle top kabuki F84 and I'm gonna use this on this side of my face so we're gonna go in with first layer Okay, so with the brush, hmm, I kind of like it better with the Beauty Blender. It seems like the Beauty Blender gave it a little bit more coverage than the brush. Let's go ahead and go in with the second layer with the Beauty Blender only because I like the finish of the Beauty Blender better than I do the brush. Guys, I'm really loving the finish of this foundation. It's just so pretty, super soft looking. I know I keep saying that, but it's soft. It looks really soft. And it blends beautifully. Okay guys, so this is the finished look of the foundation. I think it went on really well. It looks beautiful on the skin and I'm really liking it. So my first impression is a thumbs up with this foundation. Okay, so next we're gonna go into the contour. Now, this is supposed to be more of, the caramel is supposed to be more of a highlight under here. I haven't put on my um, concealer, but I'll go ahead and do that after I use this. And then we'll go in with the contour and the um, shimmer stick. And I'm going to actually use the sponge to blend the contour. If the sponge doesn't work, then I'll go back to the brush. And it's going on super smooth. Really smooth. It's very, very creamy. All right, so let's go ahead and blend these out. I'm not having any trouble blending that cream stick out. But it's highlighting beautifully in those areas. It's blending out nicely. Okay, so let's go in with the truffle contour stick. I'm going to go ahead and contour my cheeks. I'm 
under my chin. A little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and use the Revlon sponge to blend it out. Now, the contour is a little difficult for me to blend it out with the sponge, so I'm going to have to use a brush. So I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Oh yeah, that's better. That's much better. And the one thing that I'm noticing is that it's not moving the foundation around at all. Let's go ahead and go in with the Rum Highlighter. It's kind of like this gold color. And I'm just going to place that on the top of my cheeks. And I'm going to blend it with my finger. This highlighter is very subtle on the skin. I don't know if you can tell, but it's very subtle. So I'm really going to need to place one of those powder highlighters on top of it. So I can get that pop of highlight on the cheekbones. And it's easy to blend in with your finger. You don't really need to use a brush. So I have to say these matchsticks work really well. Now the only thing I have to say about this is the contour, um, it was a little hard to work with with the sponge, so I had to use that brush. But once I used the brush and kind of, you know, just blended it in, it worked well with it. The highlighter is a very soft highlight. It's not anything too overpowering, so you can wear this any day of the week. The um, conceal stick, which I called the highlight stick, I think, but it's a conceal stick. I did use that under here, and it kind of brightened things up, and I used it on my nose, um, my forehead, or the middle of my forehead, the top of my lip, and my chin, and it seemed to brighten everything up, and that blended really well with the sponge. So as a first impression, I really like them. Okay, so I have two highlighters. So let me show you the highlighters. I don't think I showed them to you. And this one is Mean Money and Hustla Baby. This is the duo. It comes in this white packaging. It's an octagon. It's really cute. It has a mirror. And these are the colors here. And let me go ahead and swatch this for you. This one I'm swatching first is Hustla Baby. And the second one is Mean Money. Okay, so that's Hustle Baby and that's Mean Money. Now this one is a lot more pigmented than Mean Money. Mean Money is a very light, soft highlight. But they can be used by themselves or together. The other highlight that I got was Trophy Wife. And this is the one that I think I'm gonna use today. Because this one is insanely pigmented. This is the packaging. You open it up and it has a mirror. And this is the highlight. Look at that. Oh, that luscious gold. And it's got this cute little FB in the middle. And let me swatch this baby for you because this sucker is pigmented. But look at that. It's this yellow gold, but it's so pretty. So this is actually the one I wanted to use today. I am excited about this color because it's just gorgeous. I have nothing like this. I'm just gonna swirl my brush in there, tap the excess. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Wow. 
You gotta go very light handed with this guys because it is super super pigmented. I didn't put any more product on the brush. I'm just trying to blend it all out. But this would be perfect like if you're going out at night and you want to make sure you got that highlight popping. I'm telling you this is the highlighter to go with. A little on my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow. And I didn't, like I said, I didn't put more on here. I'm just using whatever was on the brush. Oh my. <laughs> this is insane. But I love it. Okay. All right, let's not get too excited. We still gotta finish the rest of my face. Okay, let me go ahead and finish the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I put the rest of my makeup on and I didn't tell you what my first impressions of these highlighters were. They are insane. I love, love these highlighters. They are insane, they're just beautiful. Now I didn't put the Duo highlighter on but I swatched it and it's just creamy. Um, one's a little lighter than the other which is fine with me because I can use a light one on days where I'm just going to work or you know just going to run errands and then the other one I can use like for night or you know when I want a little bit more of a glam look but I have to say this trophy wife I'm telling you this highlighter is freaking insane I love it I love it it's like BAM in your face I'm so happy that I got this one because I was on the fence because I was like ooh, that gold it looks it's it's got some strength to it but when I put it on oh my gosh y'all I love it so guys first impressions the Rihanna line is top-notch it is on point it really is so the primer looks really nice on the skin it's got that soft focus effect and it just has that blurring effect on the skin so I really like the primer I like the foundation I like how it applies I think it blended in beautifully with the sponge as opposed to the brush. So I really liked the application. It had this like very soft look to it. Um, I don't know longevity. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I am gonna test that out. Oh, dang it. So I put lipstick on and I didn't even get to use the lip gloss. So let me go ahead and take this lipstick off and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I feel so dumb. Okay, so I didn't even use the lip gloss. So I went ahead and blotted my lips. I had the Dose of Colors um, Desi and Katie lip gloss on, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on. And it's supposed to be a rose gold color. It has a really thick doe foot applicator. And, ooh, that's pretty. And it smells, it smells like candy to me. This is really pretty, y'all. I'm glad I got to try that for you because I almost forgot. So I really like the lip gloss. So far, so good. So first impression on the matchsticks, I think the colors are beautiful. They blend well. I felt that I needed to use a brush with the contour stick, but other than that, they blended in really nicely. Um, I, I really like it. I really like the application of these. They just did really well. I really like the Rihanna line and I think it's a great line. Um, for those of you who want to try something that's a little bit more uh, natural on the skin, a little more soft on the skin, with a bit of an edge to it. And I say with an edge to it because of this highlighter. It's a highlighter that blends beautifully and doesn't look chunky on the skin. So, in my opinion, her line is soft and natural, but she's got that edge to it too. Okay guys, this is the end of my first impressions and try on tutorial or video, whatever you want to call it. Um, I just, I'm glad that I could do this for you. I hope that this was helpful and I hope that you enjoyed this video and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.